I'm going to dedicate this to my son, Benjamin Rogers, who passed away a couple days ago. And with his help, we're going to find some good stuff. Because I know he loved hunting too. Let's get it done, Mike. Let's get it done. <laughs> Well, I just pulled up a uh, <clears throat> 12 gauge shotgun head stamp. It's a UMC star. Probability is not a Rolex. Really? A high probability? Mm. How much? Oh, Tell nice. Me. Omega. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's the next best thing. <laughs> it's a Timex. It took yeah. a licking, but it's not taking. It ain't taking. Right wing. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe it's solar powered. It needed to be in the sun. It there was round. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was laying flat. That's right. That's cool. <clears throat> right next to the house. Here. I just found an old axe head. How heavy is that, Kaylee? Really heavy. <laughs> pretty heavy. Pretty big, huh? I just found an axe head. Did you? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. It's a big old axe head. This is a 78 signal. Oh, it's a big old piece of got white patina so it's got to be lead hmm. that is something it could be a bale seal but it's too heavy I don't know there's no writing on it what is it again it's a boot scraper so that, oh wow so that would have mounted see how it's been over this would yeah. have been in the board it would have sat down you just walk up to it and drug your boot across it, but look how it's worn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's handmade. Hand forged and no curled ears. And it's it's peened through or peened over, it's mortised through and peened over. That's so cool. And it probably was mounted right there to the front porch of this house. Early eighteen hundreds, late seventeen hundreds? Yeah, probably early. The house was built in eighteen oh three, we think. Wow. And uh, so it's probably from that period, the 1803, 45, something. <laughs> what do you what think it was? I don't know. I thought it was a, uh, it came up as an 80, 81. 80, 81? Yeah. I see it right here. I thought it was a memorial. It's a little big to be a memorial. <laughs> exactly. That's a large scent all day long. Oh, first look at one that. I ever found. Look at that. My first one. One cent. And we will see what this is. Let me get this thing cleaned up. Looks like a matron. Holy smokes, dude. <laughs> 78 to 80. Please be something good on a live dig. No, I don't think it is. <clears throat> okay, I got a high tone. 80 bouncing to an 81. Silver! I don't know yet. Hang on. Okay, I got the one dime side. 
It's a barber. Let's get a date on it. 1907. Oh. 1907, New Orleans. It's about three inches down. Let's see what you got. Oh, wow. I think it's a two piece button. See how big it was hollowed out? I guess it was a button in it. Nothing. Too big to be a button. Well, I think it's part of a bridal a rosette. Yeah, well. I don't know. That's I, old though. I smacked it right across the center with my shoe. It's okay though. It's it's a good find. It's got some fancy on it too. Yeah, it's got some decoration on it. Do some research on that. It's got it's probably some sort of button. I'm thinking it's big enough to be a bridal rosette or a cap to something. It might be a cap. You know what? It might a, be a makeup, tobacco box makeup cap. compact, makeup compact cap or something. I bet, let me see. I bet it had an hinge on on that little right there. I bet it did. Yeah, makeup compact right there. It's the lid for a little. Cool. Nice, dude. Cool. Thank you. And it's a small a too. Yeah. yeah. So let me see your dookie spoon. spoon. Or sugar spoon maybe. Something like that. Salt spoon. He found a silver spoon. Sterling, baby. Sterling all day open. long. It won't open. Got a velvet. <laughs> I got more of them. There it is, sterling. I got it. You know what? We were just over here talking about how we wish you would find something. Jeez, Craig. Awesome, man. I really wish you would find something. Awesome, man. Here you go. Let's uh, find it back in that hole. Was that where you were just digging right there? Yep, that yeah. was the one where I was digging. Good deal. Boom. Awesome. Well, this is the wrap up for today, Craig. Hey, do you want the uh, the bonus find of that car? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that at the end here. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with my finds here. I found a. Uh, a chunk of lead here. I found an old bale seal that I didn't uh, I didn't get on film because I didn't know what it was at first. That's an old bale seal. I found a 1907 Barber with a O mint mark. That was pretty cool. That was a big surprise to find. And a couple shotgun head stamps and 33 cents and change. Craig found an old Timex watch and uh, two 1944 Wheaties. Couple of musket balls, 26 cents and change, and a sterling silver spoon that says treasure, uh, maker's mark, and sterling patent 1921. Andrew, his significant finds, he found a watch, pocket watch back. I thought it was a bridal rosette at first, or a makeup compact, but uh, come to find out it's probably a uh, watch backing and uh and he found this large scent i'm gonna swear i saw it 1818 on there but i can't really read the date on it so i don't know definitively what the date is on this but uh, there's too much smooths on it but uh still it's his first large scent regardless he's pretty stoked about it and uh and that's it now for the bonus find this is uh, Craig's finds over the, the last few days. He got a uh, great seal button. World War I era. World War I era. What does that say on the back? Evan, D. Evans. D. Uh, Evans. Attleboro something or other. Yeah, Attleboro. Wow. That's pretty cool right there. And he found this uh, this piece right here something grip if anybody can decipher what that first word is leave it in the comments uh, a couple of other buttons right here it says riverside overalls the railroad and this one says the railroad on it Let me turn that 
That's pretty cool. I like that one. It just one. says the railroad. Yeah. I think that's the same thing. The and then railroad. another railroad button. So he's got two of those. And this oval thing right here is the old uh, cuff link. And then you got this um, this piece right here, which is pretty decorative. Don't know what it went to. Probably a nameplate or a scutcheon or something. And this this old toy car looks like a watch fob or something from back in the day, way back in the day. So that's pretty cool. Next to the uh, the 18s nickel. Oh yeah, the 1918s <clears throat> Buffalo nickel that he found. There's a 1918 right down there. And you flip it over, and there's the S mint mark right there. Yipper. With the car. <laughs> yeah, his favorite is the car right here, and that's my favorite too. That's an awesome find. So it was a good hunt, man. I mean, everybody come out with something pretty cool. Yep. Andrew, had fun. Mm -hmm. Craig. Yes, sir. For Ben. For Ben. Yep. yep. For Ben. Awesome. So this is, uh, catch you guys on the next adventure.